Sometime in the not-too-distant future, the Oregon coast could be home to some massive new residents. Wind turbines, some close to 1,000 feet tall, are in the early planning stages for two areas about 20 miles off the coast near the California border. And the potential for energy production there is huge. There is no other resource out there like offshore wind. At this point on the West Coast, it's entirely untapped. That's Jason Bush, executive director of the Pacific Ocean Energy Trust, which sponsored a wind energy conference in downtown Portland this week. The meeting brought together some of the top experts from all over the country. You've got national labs, universities, regulators, stakeholders, um, and a fair amount of supply chain. I think folks are starting to realize there's enormous opportunity here if they position themselves well. The federal government has identified two call areas near Coos Bay and Brookings that it's already begun studying. And by this time next year, the government plans to hold an auction for developers to bid on the projects. One of those developers is Deep Blue Pacific Wind. Peter Cogswell, government affairs director for the company, said there were more than just strong winds that drew him to Oregon. What makes Oregon unique is that first you have a world-class re resource off the southern Oregon coast, and you combine that with Oregon's historic strong support for clean energy policies and decarbonizing our electric supply, and there's a lot to like about offshore wind and how it fits into that environment. But like every massive infrastructure project, there are trade-offs. Tribes are worried the towers could impact their cultural resources. Fishermen are concerned about how the turbines will impact their livelihoods. Environmental advocates want to make sure that vulnerable ocean species are more than just an afterthought. And that's why winning the auction is just the beginning. After that, there are roughly seven years of environmental impact studies, site assessments, and surveys of the area before construction can get underway. Bush said conferences like the one in Portland this week are an important opportunity to look at where conflicts exist and address them early in the process. It's about ensuring that um, energy is uh, compatible with communities and integrated into those communities uh, and we minimize impacts on the, on, on the environment, uh, the kind of impacts that we've seen from our existing system. Kale Williams, KGW News.